So, I've got a little bit of an announcement to make before this video starts. You might be wondering, uh, Nick, why the hell is this on Wednesday and not Tuesday? That's because... Anyone want to take a guess? Take a gander at the goose. Anyone? Anyone want to uh, Anyone want to guess why? Well, you're too late, alright? I'm going to tell you right now. It's because I am officially uploading three days a week. You heard that right? Three days a week. Monday... To the uh, nope, not Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm uploading three times every single week. All right, so that's why this is on Monday or on Wednesday, uh, instead of on normal Tuesday or Thursday. Uh, you also might be wondering, it's a little weird, Nick, that uh, you're uploading on Wednesday and not Monday, then. Uh, that's just because there were issue, issues with scheduling stuff. Um, but it's no big deal. Next week you'll have the full three videos. So you're still technically getting two videos this week. Uh, but it's on Wednesday and Friday now instead of Tuesday, Thursday. So you can now look forward to getting three videos of your absolute favorite YouTuber in the world. That's me. That's 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 this guy right here. You know, this, this, this pretty guy that's on the camera right now. Did I just call myself pretty? Fuck. Okay. Um, but anyway, with that out of the way, enjoy the video of the weird Game Theory ARG thing. Ah. Sup, guys? It's Nick, and welcome back. This is sort of rushed, but welcome back to the Game Theory ARG. Now, I did not think I was going to make this video because... This came out of absolutely nowhere. Yesterday, um, Creator Inc. posted a tweet about a new game coming out today. Uh, they just tweeted out at 8 o'clock. Uh, something fell, but it's not important. Um, but they tweeted, and the first person to find the answer to this thing gets, uh, gets a, like a special pin that's been signed. Um, and then the first ten people to get it, uh, get a lanyard, uh, from the first ever Game Theory ARG. So, um, I don't know. Yeah, this is, this is the tweet. So, yeah. So that's, that's going on right now. This just came out of left field, so this is kind of out of nowhere. But, yeah, th this, this is technically the end. So, alright, but I just gotta jump into it. This is really rushed. So, alright, year 14... 1,126 divided by 7. Good luck, theorists. Okay. Um, don't know what that is. Okay, so... Here, I'm going to pull up my calculator. You guys won't be able to see this. Alright, 14,126 divided by 7 is 2018 okay so that's the year year is 2018 um what i'm thinking it's gonna be is it's gonna be the game theory uh arg the original which i think came out in um in uh 2018 uh, uh so i'm gonna go to the website from that So there's this video, but that was there originally anyway. What if we go to the Theorist Gateway? Nope, this looks the same here. I could I could log in. Um but it looks to be the same. Okay. Um Okay, so I believe this is the holiday merch bag. Could be wrong, but I believe that's what this is. Because it looks like holiday stuff. Hmm. I don't know. 
So this has something to do with it, maybe. Hmm. So there's a bunch of arrows and dots and stuff. Hmm. Okay. Um. Hmm. Strange. So it says tw so we got twenty eighteen. And we gotta put an answer in here as well, in this Google Forms thing. Um, are there any clues in here? I don't see anything. Um, can I just refresh the page. Um, yeah, is it just 2018? Actually, I don't think it would tell me. I don't think it would tell me if it was 2018. And also, what were the pictures before then? I don't think the answer is just as uh, clear cut as 2018. Because that would be very dumb of them, and they wouldn't do that. <sighs> no, they'd put more effort into this. They wouldn't just be like, solve this very quick math thing, and then there you go. That would be, that'd be really dumb. So, I'm thinking it's got to do something with this. This one in particular is setting me off. Um, I don't know what I could do with this. Maybe maybe I can do stuff with this in Photopea. Also, I realized I opened up the Photopea app, but you guys won't be able to see that. So I'll just open up Photopea in here. That is one that I can control. I can't really have a calculator in there. Um, in Google. Or at least not that I know of. Um, let see. Exposure. I'm not getting anything. None's working with exposure. Okay. Um. Uh, brightness contrast, maybe. No. Okay. Um. Maybe hue. I'm not getting anything still. Okay. Um. And this also isn't on the Theos Gateway, so I can't just like get hints from there or anything. Okay. I'm gonna. Put this in Notepad, so once again you won't be able to see it. But hopefully this worked. Last time I had to use Notepad, didn't work. So now I have no idea whether it's not working or whether there isn't anything in there. I don't think there's anything in there. Okay. Um. Damn. Yeah, and I think if you answer. I think if you answer, then it doesn't, you don't get to do it again, because it's not like it'll tell you if it's wrong. This is on Google Forms, so you would just submit it, and then it would be whatever. Um, are other people commenting on this? Yeah, everyone's just saying 2018. I don't, I don't think the answer is 2018. Because then that would be just a really short thing. That would be way too short to make anything out of. There's got to be something else. Here, I'm going to save this one. Um, here, yeah, I'll close that. Put this one in instead. And we'll maybe mess with the exposure on this one. I'm not getting anything with that. But it's contrast. Uh, no, not getting anything. Okay. 
Um, hue saturation. The last thing I can think of. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. One thing that I did talk about in the previous tweet was blending layers. So I think that might have to do with something. It probably does. But I don't think that's a necessary element. Ooh, Gaussian blur. I'll go back to that if I if I think I need it. Um, so I downloaded the the first two images here. Why don't I just download them again? Just to make sure I got them. So I got that, and I got that. So they all have slightly different names, but they all start with E E Y D. L R Yeah. They all start with that. So I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe multiply is gonna help. So I'm just gonna like put these all on top of each other and then just multiply. I think that's just going to make like a jumbled up mess, but maybe it'll give me something. Yeah, I'm not getting anything. Okay. Um I'm going to I'm going to try Notepad again, ju but just with all of them. So, first one. That one's not giving me anything. And second one. That one's also not giving me anything. Uh, how about this one? 
Nope. And maybe the last one, but I doubt it. No. Nothing. Weird. Maybe the maybe these like file names are hexadecimal. So here, why don't I copy this file name and we can go hexadecimal text and then Nope, that's nothing. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, name the one that I seek. Um... Game Theory 2018. Here, okay. So he did make a video on the first ARG. And I'm thinking that's where I'm going to find what I need. Um, but I don't know. Um, blah, 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 blah. where is it? Where is it? Um, I think it's forward more. This one. I'm gonna start by new. Oh, the newest one is four days ago. Damn. Okay. This was in 2018. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Game Theory. My name is Wolf Pat, and we are joined on the Okay. Today by a very so. Where's my Game Theory theory? Huh. MacBat is making theories about YouTubers. Maybe someone should make a theory Matt about Pat him. Probably won't notice Me to my fiance. Is he going to do a theory on himself? You can't do a theory on himself. Fine, let's do it. But be warned, we're just getting started. Hmm. internet welcome to game theory now i don't know if you've noticed it on the channel but my latest obsession is with args alternate reality games they're basically puzzles that play out in the virtual world and in the real world at the same time a few weeks ago it was the fortnite arg with the burger in the desert the mysterious phone number and the llama spread across europe which is now bled into the cube mystery all topics that i'm currently working on and owe you an update about then i moved on to the mcu arg not the marvel cinematic universe but the Markiplier character universe, tracking how everyone's favorite butter-voiced gamer has been seeding clues out across dozens of his YouTube videos. The clues are part of a puzzle that crosses over between the fictional world of Markiplier's scripted sketches and the real-world oh, Let's Player Mark Fishbach. Even Petsnap, which everybody. I'm getting back Omega to can it. almost also be seen as an ARG, a mystery where hmm. the clues start inside of a fictional game, they spill out into a fictional series of gameplay recordings, theory based on the game that game theory created bringing you the solution okay. to the first ever real world mystery that we gave you guys to solve this past summer so that way you all know where the clues were hiding and how the game was played so that way you're prepared for next time because you never know when the next one might start heck it could even be today <laughs> huh.
Oh, and I do have a quick request. Either make sure you stick around to the very end, or if you start getting bored and just want to click away, though I can't imagine why you'd ever want to do that, this whole thing played out and how you specifically can get involved yeah. next time. So no more waiting. Let's get to exposing our get themselves a clue and they did even if a lot of people overlooked okay. it it was actually hidden in the packaging i actually thought it was great that some people tweeted at me with pictures of their merch bags but would also then say that they were bummed that they didn't get themselves a clue it was right there it is there in the picture you hmm. can see it anyway the first thing that grammar conscious theorists noticed was that the bag their merch came in would come with a typo my hope was that this would prompt them to go online and start asking about it where they would then start seeing that the merch actually came in six differently colored bags each one with a different typo. The goal for this was to promote mm. community. No one single person would have all the clues and they would have to work together to solve this thing. Arranging them and rearranging them by color order, mm. alphabetical order, until you finally figured out that they spelled theory, or more accurately, T hashtag three zero R percent. But then, what do you do with that it? That could be it. But once again, I don't know how I find out if I have the right answer. That's like, like people are asking, like, how how do I how do I know whether I got it right or not? Hmm. Yeah. But how how do you check? This is the place hmm. where a lot of you started scratching your heads, and I started seeing stuff show up on Twitter like, I got a smudge on the back of my patch, could it be a clue? Because merch ships out all across the world and can sometimes take weeks to arrive, we didn't want the contest to favor people who had ordered merch in the US or in places with faster shipping, so to make sure that everyone was on the same playing field, we held back the shipment of the GT journals, which were the linchpin in the whole puzzle. Because we knew that once you guys got your hands on it, everything else would fall into place relatively quickly. And this is something that, quite honestly, didn't work as well as we expected. We're continuing to learn from it since it seemed to cause more frustration than fairness. It's a tough problem to solve, but we have a couple of potential solutions in the works for future ARGs, so we heard your notes, we understand the frustration, and don't worry, we're working on improving the process in the future. Anyway, almost immediately after the journals went out, teams of theorists started to notice that something funny was going on with the images. Although there were a lot of pictures and text, for some reason all the eyes seemed to have these weird designs in them. To further emphasize this, the last page of the journal told readers to keep their eyes open. Looking closer, you could see that all the designs were letters, and going through them sequentially, you could spell out has Matt gone mad dot com. Next part is uh, okay. So I I went there before, but so this is this was here before. Maybe maybe the source code is different. So robots, non index or no index, no follow. Hmm. I'm wondering if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Or if I'm just wasting my time. I have a feeling I'm wasting my time. But I can never be too sure. Huh. It keeps talking about fonts and stuff. Well, it was talking about that before. But I also see that... The, the, the page appears to just be the video. I'm not going to go through all this, actually. But what text is there? Here, I'm going to use... I have a special app that lets me take screenshots. Um, so... You won't be able to see this. Yeah, but I have a special app that lets me um it lets me take screenshots um because for some reason uh it won't let me do it with uh like just 
the buttons. Okay, so I got I got a screenshot. Huh. Um Okay. So Huh. Okay. So I got I got a screenshot. <clears throat> I'm gonna try dropping it in photo or photopia maybe exposure doesn't give me anything maybe brightness contrast I'm thinking maybe they hid something in the website I don't think that's the case but that would be cool huh okay so that's not it but Hmm. August 13th, 2018. I don't think that means anything. Hmm. What if I just go to, like, the bottom one? Hmm. I have no idea. I really, I really don't know. I'm lost. Damn. Has anyone said anything? Hmm. Yeah, people are just saying 2018, but I don't... I don't think that's it. Cause it says name the one I that I seek. Zombies heading to that website. Once their loyal I don't think found a special video waiting just for them. Now I've done I don't think it would be things over the years. Things that'll be the, I don't, I don't think that would be the key. Come and kill any hopes of me ever becoming president one day. But this video is just another addition in that pile. You see, it's a super creepy rendition of yours truly staring back at you. And although some people were misled by the audio in the background, which was definitely some place I considered to hide some more clues to keep things logically consistent for this first ever ARG, I wanted to stick with the theme of eyes. So if you were to track my blinking, it was all done in Morse code. Spelling out the Morse code yielded the following phrase, thefuristgateway.com. So it was once yeah, again off to another there. website where he had to verify yeah, it looked that he wasn't a robot before. and then put in the final code, a color code. The code that related back to the colors on the packaging, theory. Now if you were one of the lucky and incredibly fast first hundred finishers, you were promised a special prize for being among the first to make it there. We're putting the finishing touches on those prizes now. Those one-of-a-kind pieces will be signed by us and then sent to you to commemorate your victory in this challenge. A little huh. tip of the cap from one theorist to another. And to make it clear now that it's all said and done, since there was some confusion about all this, a lot of those first hundred finishers were people who didn't actually buy the merch. Like I said, purchasing merch wasn't a requirement of winning. Did it help? Yeah, absolutely, because some of the clues were hidden in your hand. But it was my intent to design something that as many of you as possible would be able to participate in by joining a team, sharing images, and brainstorming. Okay, I don't think this is it. I've honestly gotten nowhere. All that I have is the is the year 2018. That's all I have. 
I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, 2018 is the only thing I have, but then what would these images be for? They've got to mean something. This one really is tripping me up. Hmm. What to do with this? The blending thing from before probably is part of it, but I, I have no idea what I would do with that. Like, I, I would likely blend the pages together, but, like, how? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it was this one? Yeah. Am I seeing shit? No, at the bottom, at the bottom of this page, what, no, 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 whoops, 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 whoops. Look at, look at this. There's, you can't see my mouth. But you should be able to see. There's like patterns and stuff down here. Huh. Very interesting. Do I have to line all these up? I don't know if I can do that. I just keep checking to see if anyone's done anything. Because I, I... I'm so lost on this. I've never been so lost in an ARG before. Or in the Game Theory ARG. So, wait. I'm just going to examine this image closer before I do anything else with it. It just looks like... The thing. Yeah, there's this. But. Other than that, there's nothing particularly weird about it. So, here, what if we get rid of that? Is there anything like that on this one? Any of those with the black dots? Right there. There's that right there. So maybe I just take that part and blend those together and all of them. Because I think, here, if I open up this one, this one, yeah, the main focus of the whole thing is these. And then on this one, yeah, there are those as well. So, yeah, I'm going to try doing the multiply trick first. That's a trick from gate 6. So, what I'm going to do is, so open this, and then i got to get something that matches up with that. Now that one does not look like it matches up. How about this one? Well, this one, um, yeah, here, let me... Let me see. 
Yeah, wait. Um. Yeah, it's too small here. Let me open up this one. Yeah, it's got the two of those in the middle, whereas this one has them on the outside. So maybe I just need to like fill up all of the yellow arrows. So I'm gonna here. I'm gonna open up. Uh, so this is which one is the first one? This one? No. So this is the first one. And this is the second one. Uh, okay. So I'll open up this one. So this one is those two and those two. And then... No, not that one. This one. This one is the other two. Okay, so those do line up. So if I was to go and multiply like this, I could free transform. And the video from before said if you hold down shift, you can make it so that it's proportionally getting smaller. So maybe I just... Um, On to some, I think we're on to some. I think here, let me let me uh keep try and keep it proportional. Here, yeah, and then multiply as well. Okay, um, yeah, I think we're on to something because it looked like they were lining up and they could possibly form letters. So, oh, whoops, 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 I gotta remember hold down shift and it stays proportional. Yeah, I think just line these up. So, yeah, there's the logo here. Okay. I see how this is supposed to go. Because I see the logo here. Here, I'm gonna take the whole thing and turn down the saturation. And this one too. Okay, I was hoping that would help. It did not. Um. So what is this? What is what does it look like? Uh -huh. 
This looks like a little lightning bolt thing. And then it looks like we got two backwards E's. Maybe we do stack the other two on here. Hold on. Let me let me go back to this one. Um I am gonna multiply. Um Whoops, no, don't move that one. I wanna move this one. Where's the thing? Right here. Um, it looks like it could be something. Here, let me try and just get this to line up first. And No. Huh. Okay. I think this is the best I'm going to get it. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like this could be an A. U. S. C. S. S. O. S. Maybe I do need to combine the two. I think we have to blend the images. I think we do. 
We might have to blend all of them, but so far what I've noticed is that hmm. I, I, yeah, but I have noticed that the yellow arrows do seem to line, they do line up. Because this one has yellow arrows on the top left and bottom right. And this one has yellow arrows on the top right and bottom left. So those would seem to match up as well as this one. This one has arrows on the left and the right. And this one has arrows on the middle left and the middle right. So they would appear to line up okay what if what if i do all of them at the same one i'm not, i'm not going to do the blending just yet what if i what if i try putting them all in one so i'm going to multiply and i will free transform hold down shift so it says proportional Okay, yeah, just shrink it down real small. Um, okay, so we got that. that one here we'll multiply and just shrink it down Yeah, I gotta expand those a little bit. Okay. Uh, okay, so free transform. Net caps lock. Do that. No, it needs to be way bigger. Uh, where is it? Where is it even? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Yeah. So, just, yeah, just, boom. Okay, um, where are the things? Boom. Okay, can we get anything from this? I'm not seeing a whole lot. It 
it looks kind of all over the place. Huh. Hmm. Damn. Shit. Anyone said anything yet? Uh, yeah, I think we have to blend these together, so, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close this, I'm gonna open up this one, actually no, I think that's the smallest one, here, I'll open up, no, not, I will not open up, I'll make a new one. And I don't care what it's called. Um, here, I'll just. Um, actually, I'm just going to make it. I'm going to make it 5,000 by 5,000 because who cares? Um, here, boom, we got that. We got this one. Boom, and then here's this one. And the last one is this one. Here, I'm gonna. So these are all the things that we have. This is also very weird to me, this thing here. Because, like I said, there's symbols down here. But, I don't know, just the fact that this, this is very clearly unnatural. It does not look right. Okay, so... Okay, so, hold on, wait, start at the beginning. So yeah, drag and drop into Photopia, or Photopia. Okay, so, I'm gonna do it like I had it before, in sets of two. So this is, um, here, let me, let me just... Say this. This is one. This one right here is two. This one, I believe, is three. And this one is. Oh, whoops. Uh, this one is four. So we got one, two, three, and four. So because I believe if we drag number four into here, yeah, we get another one of those. Okay. So I believe it's one and three, and then two and four. So I'm gonna do it like that. So I'm gonna open number three. Um. R V X Y. This one? 
Yes, okay. So, first make it black and white. So that was... Yeah, black and white. Okay, and then duplicate the layer. Duplicate. Boom. Blur one of them. Bring it back. Add a mask. Okay, so whichever one is getting blurred, I guess, is in the back. Yes, yeah, so it gets blurred and then you bring it back. Okay, so you go, what was that under filter? And then it goes back. And then add a mask. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so he had the copy in the on the top. And then yeah, put a put a blur on it. And then move that to the bottom. And then selects background. And it hits a button at the bottom. So boom. And I believe it was this one. Yeah. Okay, so then he had white brush, and he switched it to this one, was it? So it's one that's 60 pixels. White foreground color. Okay, so he did, it was one like, like this, except it was size 60. Okay. And then I paint that on the thing that I want. So I paint that on the thing that I want. Okay. So the part that I want is like right over here.
Okay. I just want to zoom into there as well just to see how it looks. Okay, it looks like a thing. I didn't. I don't know what I expected it to look like. Okay, and then remove the background of this picture. Um, I don't know if I need to do that with this one, but I'll do it anyway. Okay, so. Move dot BG. Uh, okay. Um, so I'll select number one is this one. Okay, well, never mind then, I guess not. Alright, so I guess I'm using the whole thing. So now, I'm gonna put this one in there. Shift to make it proportional, okay. So that's just to make it seem like the girl's in there. So what I'll do is free transform, hold on shift, make sure it's proportional. I'll try and multiply. Here, I'm going to do black and white on this one. Boink. That way it's just even. Even Stevens. My believings. Um, yeah, I definitely need to size it down more. Bing, bing, bong. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It, from far away, it definitely looks like it could be something. It 
it kind of looks like it says A U six or G O S. Huh. Very interesting. We could try this with the other two. How long have I been recording for? I've been recording for over an hour and I've gotten nothing done. Okay, um... Oh, that's the other one. Yeah, here. Blink. So, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to assume for now that this says A-U-G-O-S. So that's, that's kind of like August, but not really. Maybe it's A-U-G-05. It could be August 5th. It could be. It could be. Here, but why don't I... Hold on. Um, so I just did one... Er, not one and two. I did uh, one and three. So now I think I'm going to do two and four. Right, did I do... Yeah. Okay. So two and four. So I'm going to open up. Open number four is the one that's R W W. Boink. Okay. So, what did the thing say? So yeah, drag and drop it already did that. It's already in there. So yeah, black and white, and then duplicate. Okay. So, image, yeah, adjustments, black and white. Okay, and then I will duplicate. Okay. Blur one of them, bring it back, add a mask, and paint out an area. Okay. So, I'll go and, it's under filter, so Gaussian blur, okay, and then bring it back, and then add a mask so that this one, um, And then paint on an area, use white foreground color. Okay. So I'm going to paint this. So, boom. Yeah. Okay. Go. Okay. So I did that, and then from there, yeah, from there, I'll just put the thing in there. Okay, so now. I'll just drag, which one? This one. Oinkus to Oinkus. That should be right. I'll definitely make it smaller. Oh, whoops. Oh, I forgot to hold down uh, shift. And I'm going to make it black and white. Okay. Um... 
so we can. Oops, 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 oops. I keep doing that where I forget to hold down shift. Here, boink. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, make it smaller. Okay, that should be good enough. Whoa, okay. I see one or fourteen thirty three and a lightning bolt. I think I'm on to something. I think I'm definitely on to something here. Yeah, I see fourteen thirty three August fifth. I'm gonna go to August fifth, two thousand eighteen. Okay. All right. I'm on to something. I definitely think that I'm on to something. So, August 5th, 5th, 2018, Game Theory. Okay. Here, what's this? When was this uploaded? Yeah, August 5th, 2018. Okay. So, what was the other one? So, August 5th, 1433. And I don't know what the lightning bolt is for. Or if that even is a lightning bolt. It looks like a lightning bolt. But I'll go to 1433. Here. To fit into one cough, thirty five kitten sex. It's talking about Harry Potter. I think it's talking about Harry Potter because the lightning bolt is a very clear reference to Harry Potter. And in fact, I didn't say it before because I didn't think it meant jack shit. But when I, when I saw the lightning bolt before, because I think I was talking before about seeing a lightning bolt. I was immediately reminded of Harry Potter's, and it turns out that that's actually what it is. So we got 1433, and we got August 5th. So, yeah, okay. So I think, yeah, we don't need this. That was kind of just to see how big each one is, so it would be easier to map on. So... Is it Harry Potter? It could be Harry Potter. Or it could be... Huh. It could be the black cat. Not subtitles. Maybe if I sort by newest. Oh. Uh, 1433. Yeah, I think it's Harry Potter. I think, I think, I think it's Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Harry Potter. Name the one I seek. No one's talking about this. I 
I'm th I'm thinking of Terry Potter. Because Batman doesn't have anything to do with lightning bolts. Finn doesn't have anything to do with lightning bolts. I think that's Annie. Is that Annie? Yeah, well, I know Bambi also doesn't have anything to do with lightning bolt. But I think that's Annie. Um, Annie. Musical. Well, it looks like it could be. But if I, oh, yep, there we go. Here we go. This is probably one of the original actors to play the to play Annie. And no matter who it is, they probably don't have anything to do with lightning. So Yeah. I th I I'm going to I'm going to just go ahead and say that it's Harry Potter. Because I don't know how we would go anywhere else from here. It's not like the Game Theory ARG normally is, where once we put in our we get our key, we put it in, and then we get the next set of clues. I think it is just you do this and you get it, and it's whatever. So, and I don't think we'll get our res our response on whether we got it right immediately. But my final answer is Harry Potter submit the form name the one that I seek is no longer accepting responses oh damn it try contacting the owner of the form if you think this is a mistake shit did people already get it ow well Okay. So that that either means that they that okay. So I, I think that can mean one of three things. Either I was the tenth person to get this, and that's why it's no longer accepting responses, or I was after the first ten people, which is why they're no longer accepting responses, or it means that that I can't put in any more answers. I don't know. I really don't. But this was fun. And, I mean, it is is a little annoying, but that's 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 inherent with anything like this. It's gonna be a little tedious. Yeah, it ain't Henry. No, I think I think it's Harry Potter. Yeah, I I I don't know if they're gonna. Exp if they're gonna tell everyone what it what it was, but I'm gonna feel confident enough in my answer that it was Harry Potter. So even if I was not one of the first ten people, um, which I don't I don't think I was. I think I think that's what the thing means by no longer accepting responses. Um, but. If they come out and say that the answer was Harry Potter, then that'll be satisfying enough. Because I I still accomplished that. It was still a fun it was still a fun thing. Even if I don't get the prize. Like I've never been I, I, I was never interested in the prize. Well, at least I wasn't only in it for the prize. Um I do get one, however, I because I was in top five percent. I believe, unless I already got knocked out of there, which would be extremely bizarre. Yeah, 1179. And I think there's, last time I checked was before Gate 7 even came out, and there was like over 108,000 people um, that were just like, that had a place. There are still more people that I don't know if they count, but they don't have a place because they haven't finished anything yet. Um, but I don't know. This was, this is fun. Um, I'm just, I'm just call it off. Call it over. We, I, I did it. This is, this is, this is what you get. This, this is what you get from this. So, how long, how long does that take? Hour and 18 minutes. So, a 
also I just realized that this whole time it hasn't been centered. Boom, that's better. It should be centered now. Fuck, I can't believe I didn't notice that before. Um Here, I'm just gonna do a bit of this. Ah yeah, I can do that. Um Yeah. Just so I can close out of a Google. But this was pretty fun. Um Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that I feel confident enough in my answer that it was Harry Potter. I don't care about the prize. I'm already getting I already got some of the merch. I got a t shirt and I got a hoodie and I got the journal. Uh, not the original journal, but the newest one. Um and I'm getting an exclusive prize anyway for being in top five percent. Uh, top 1% actually I think in the main gates um, so I don't I don't really care about winning a prize on this one because it was never about the prize anyway um, at least for me it sounds cliche but not all cliches are false you know um, but I, I, I was never really in it for the prize I was more in it because it's a youtuber a creator that I really like and, and have been watching for years um, as well as just a really fun game. I love doing this shit. It's amazing. Like, every single time when one of these gates would come out, it was the highlight of my week, no doubt. So, I don't know. But, this is just a little cool thing. Um, it was really, looking back, not that complicated. Um, but, it's easy to look back and, and say, oh, yeah, it was not that hard. But at the time, it was it was real bad. Um, but I'm gonna feel I'm gonna say that Harry Potter is my answer. Uh, and if they come out and say that hey, it was it was Harry Potter, then that's good enough for me, because then I'll know I did it, I played it, I had fun, and I got the answer, which is all I care about. And it entertained you guys. I, I've been recording for almost an hour and a half, like an hour and 20 minutes-ish. Um, I'm going to have to like edit this way down, like way the fuck down. I, I want this to be maybe like a 20, 30-minute episode. It's definitely it's definitely not going to be an hour and 20 minutes, I'm going to tell you that. Um, I, I, I am totally going to edit it down so that it's a lot shorter. Because there was a long, there were multiple long periods of time where I got absolutely no progress, and I kind of just sat there. So those parts will be edited out. Um, but yeah, I just want to say, for for the last time, unless Creator Inc. decides to hop out of nowhere again and say, "Hey, we're doing another thing," which would be cool, but it'd be weird because that'd be me ending the series for a third time because I ended the series already and now I'm ending it again with this one so then I'd have to end it again they'd kind of they that, that'd just be weird so I, I'd still do it but it I don't know I don't know how it would work out it would it would just be really weird it would be the end number three which just sounds shitty it's like, uh, but you already ended the series. You're just milking it for views. And I kind of am, except not really. Because, I don't know. If I was milking it for views, I'd probably just like go back and play all of them again and whatever. Uh, but, I don't know. Um, but, that's uh, that's all I have to say at this point. I, I'm, I'm just going to end up rambling about shit that doesn't even have to do with this um because i really can't think of anything else to say but uh except for once again thank you all of you watching as well as creator inc for being a part of this um they even went as far as they put me in one of their fucking videos if i i already i already said this in a previous video in uh the beta gate video i believe um but they were they they did their video their second video explaining all the gates, and they fucking used a clip from my video in there which was phenomenal, um. But yeah, it's just, it's just been an amazing ride, um, for me and many others, uh. So yeah, on that note, uh, thank you all so much for watching. 
If you like this video, you can hit like and subscribe right down that a ways. Uh, as well as check out the... I'll, I'll link the Theorist Gateway in the description. As well as the tweet that this comes from. Because this is kind of its own separate thing. It's like its own entity, basically. Um, it's it's complicated. Uh, so I'll leave the, the tweet and whatever in the description so that you can look at that and do this part of the game theory ARG. Um, and if you feel like it, feel free to leave comments down there with suggestions or just general things. I always say that. I can never think of a, a good word for it, but just like whatever the fuck you want to put down there, do it. I don't care. Um, but once again, thank you all so very much for watching. Don't know I went in close like that, but I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.